Okay, we forgot to talk about one movie. Uh, White Chicks. Starring... That guy. Yeah, that guy. and uh, Starring Sean Wayans, Martin Wayans, and Terry Crews. Uh, Terry Crews is just hilarious in this movie. I'll get to him in a minute. But the story, it came out June 23rd, 2004. Uh, two disgraced African-American FBI... Okay, I read this description from imdb.com, I think. Why did they have to put African-American in there? That's kind of racist. Does it matter? Uh, two FBI agents, who are brothers, Kevin and Marcus Copeland, who are assigned the duty of protecting Cruz... Wait, protecting Cruz Line, Harris's Brittany and Tiffany Wilson from a kidnapping plot... Their supervisor, Elliot Gordon, has given them this duty as a last resort to being far from the agency, given their recent reputation. When the Wilson sisters get a facial scar in a car accident, they refuse to leave the hotel due to their appearance. But in order to save their job, the Copeland brothers will have to do the unthinkable, disguise themselves as white women in the form of the Wilson sisters. So, um, I mean, it's, it's a very hilarious movie, and... Um, Terry Crews, um, you know him as Chris Rock's dad from Everybody Hates Chris, and he was also a, a Cheeseburger Eddie from The Longest Yard, I think that was his name. He had, no, he was a, oh, one that always passed out cheeseburgers and stuff. Um, he's freaking hilarious in this movie. I mean, he has a crush on one of the Wayans brothers, but that's because the dress is one of the white women. Even though they look funny and mannish, he has a Big crush on uh, the on uh, the one that's uh, playing as Martin Wayans. Who's, I can't explain it. He, he thinks the white women, but really not. He has a crush on one of them and wants to date him and everything. And it's just hilarious. Uh, what's your take on this movie, baby? Uh, there's that hat again. Dang it! That movie sucked. <laughs> Get out. Okay. You, with your hurricane shirt. This is the Green Lantern, man. <laughs> but eh. Yeah. I saw the movie, didn't like it. I thought it sucked, but hey, that's my opinion. You're a loser. That's my, that's my opinion. Uh, no, um, is that it? Yes. You don't, you don't know why it, you thought it sucked, or it was just poorly put together. Really? How's it poorly put together? Okay, there's this thing called good movies. Well, actually, let's put it on a scale. There's good movies. There's crappy movies. White chicks is crappy. But how is it crappy? Like, what do you mean not put together? Like The acting sucked. Really? Even Terry Crews? He's the only funny one in there. Everything else sucked. I mean, it's just overplayed stuff you've seen before in other movies. Mm, I don't know. Well, oh well, that's me and you. I'm, I'm better than you, so I have better taste. Now, uh... Ha! <laughs> um, but uh, uh, there's another funny part. Where, uh, there's, uh... The part where... Uh, the Wayne's brothers, who, who are dressed as the white chicks, are in the car with these other women, and then they play this song, where they start all singing, and then uh, they go, all right, take it, girls, this is your part. And so the Wayne brothers are sitting there looking at each other like, and you, they're trying to sing it, it just, and, and they couldn't do it, it's pretty funny. And then the part where Terry Crews uh, is about to take, he plays Latrell Spencer in the movie, uh, he's about to take uh, one of them on the date, and uh, one of the Wayans brothers uh, plays th that same song to turn him off. And first, it looked like he hated it. He's like, oh. and then he goes, how'd you know? And he starts singing the song and knowing every word to it. And no matter what that guy, no, no matter what Marlon Wayne uh, did, uh, I said Marlon Wayne, Wayans or whatever, uh, Marcus Copeland, I think that's his name, uh, he could not turn him off and get him off of him and uh they couldn't he, he even when they went out on that little date he started stuffing his mouth with food and everything acting all disgusting that guy still liked her still had a crush on her and couldn't he couldn't get rid of her it was pretty funny that that's probably i thought i probably like that movie better than dodgeball i mean that was probably one of the best better movies right bloody uh maggot uh one of the best movies of 2004 in my opinion so there you go